celebrity chefs are who people watch. <laughs> That's who's on television. So we know that people tend to do things they see other people who are experts do. So if you're a chef and you are showing not washing your hands, not using a food thermometer, not, not uh, or touching your hair, tasting, putting food in with your hands, everybody at home is going, oh, I can do that too. We have been working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture and Tennessee State University and RTI International on a project for food safety for about three and a half years now. And one of the issues was what impact does having television shows with chefs have on uh, modeling good behavior for food safety. We, we actually watched television. Um, we watched over a hundred shows. The, the three big things that we saw across the board were chefs typically didn't wash their hands or at least they didn't show washing their hands or didn't mention washing their hands, which is something we always want people to do. The other things that we saw, they, they didn't change cutting boards out, so they used the same cutting board to prepare meat and also vegetables that weren't going to be cooked later or fresh salads or whatever. Um, they didn't use food thermometers. So they said, oh, just cook your meat until, it's, until you think it's done or until it's pink or until, uh, until it's, you know, until the juices run clear or until you can touch it and do this. Those are all inaccurate ways of measuring whether or not meat is actually cooked to a safe temperature. Using a food thermometer is the only real way to check that. 23% of chefs licked their fingers. 23%, that's terrible. A number of people touched their hair or touched other parts of their dirty clothing or things and then touched food again. A number of people ate during the, the process. A lot of people added foods with their hands that hadn't necessarily been washed. So this is not what we want people to do in home. We hope that people are watching these shows to get recipes or to be entertained. But we know that modeling poor behavior is probably going to impact people's behavior at home as well. Well, if they can do it on TV and they're a famous chef, I can probably do it too. I think that celebrity chefs have a responsibility for entertaining us. They also have a responsibility for giving us good food. And good is not just taste good, it's also safe food.